my name is Sinki Mukwena. My life before I came to the church was miserable because I used not I used to sleep around and I was coming late at home. I used to hang out with bad friend. I was I was in gangster. We used to rob the shops, roping people is what we were doing used to do. My worst moment it was when they they stepped one of my friends in front of me. It was the community. And the second one was shot in front of me when we were running after breaking the shop the shop. That's when that's why that's when I started to leave everything. It affected me very badly because of I was afraid that I was going to die because I was the third victim to be attacked because both of them they were dead already. They didn't recover in hospital. So I was the third person to be attacked because that person he was looking at me in the area, telling the people that he's going to shoot me also. He's, he want me here. He even go to my parents telling my mother that he's going to shoot me. My mother was very stressed because my mother he didn't want me to be in, in one of those guys who, who were dead. Today I'm no longer sleeping around, going out with bad friends. I'm going to the church. I'm coming early at home. My mother today, she's happy. So I would like to thank God for everything He has done in my life because today I was not supposed to be alive. So I thank everything for what He has done in my life. is Ezekiel and then my work I work as a bus driver uh, before I came to the church my life was a really big mess because I used to go to Sangomas a lot I spend a lot of money to Sangomas in our culture they invent even if you are not sick you have to go to Sangoma all the time I have a Sangoma that I go to every August I have to go to that Sangoma and then um, uh, even my wife, my life with my wife, we were not married, we just stay, only stay. And then I had other girlfriend beside my wife. And then she was, we, we were, do, our life at home was a really mess. There were no understanding, no respect, liquor as well, we have to drink. My worst moment, it was when I was very sick when I want to go home and die. Because I go to that Sangoma, it didn't help me. I go to the hospitals, to the doctors, special doctors, no one was be, been able to help me. So I was deciding to go home when someone invited me to the church, and then I was healed in the church. The other worst moment that I had is when uh, I had a bag, a new bag, and then I was hijacked by the hijackers. And then they tied me on a tree, and then they shot me here at the back. Luckily, the bullet go through this side and go out the other side without touching the skull, without uh, touching the nerve or anything. Just go through the flesh because I prayed before when they they decided to shoot me. I, I just pray and say, God, my Jesus, I ask you to save my life. Because even I, I, if I had a Sangom, I was not around, but I called to Jesus and then I was, even I didn't sleep even to the hospital. I just go to the special doctor and then they bandaged me. And then that's when they told me I was shot by a very big gun and then now, my life, I am very happy, very, very, very happy. I don't know how to explain, because when we come to the church, we, are, we were advised that we have to get married in the church, and then I married my wife in the church, and then our life before Jesus is blessed, with no more fighting, and then recently our daughter has just graduated, and then she marketed only for nine months, was, uh, nine days, she was looking for a job, nine days and then she's working at a hospital so i am very very happy with jesus and then that's why i say i thank you jesus <laughs>